Some people think that America has a gun problem. Some other people think that America needs more people roaming crowded city streets carrying AR-15s shooting at animals. What I'm saying is that there are two sides to this argument, and both of them are equally valid. Okay, just kidding. One of those sides is not in any way valid, but they're getting a fair portrayal in the New York Times because that's what we do these days in the mainstream media. Uh, The animal in question being hunted is the coyote, a distinctly American beast that has experienced a checkered history here. Coyotes have spread into more and more large American cities like New York and Chicago, and even right here where I am in San Francisco. Uh, They're actually native to this area, but in the 1930s, the U.S. government set about extirpating them nationwide. Uh, They were seen as dangerous to humans and a nuisance that, like wolves, which were eradicated in the 1920s, hunted the same game that humans were hunting. Neither of those was correct, but the U.S. government devoted millions of dollars to destroying them before scientists had even had the chance to study them. All the government's efforts went to waste, though. In 2004, San Francisco officials spotted a coyote walking across the Golden Gate Bridge at night in order to sneak into the Presidio, and a decade later, they're in neighborhoods all over the city. Now people are scared of them again, since they have occasionally killed cats and small dogs, and once, 30 years ago, a coyote apparently killed a three-year-old in L.A. Hunters are jumping at the chance to help by asking for, and in many cities and suburbs getting, permission to hunt coyotes and sell their fur. One hunter interviewed by the Times even offers tips on convincing your local homeowners to allow hunting in and around their property by promising to hunt only at dawn or dusk to avoid cyclists and joggers, and when dealing with especially reluctant people, to offer to use a crossbow instead of a firearm. As a cyclist and a jogger, um, what the fuck? Do you think that we only go for runs and rides during working hours? You you picked the hours in which it's most likely that you will not recognize that we are humans who don't want to be shot, dusk and dawn. Uh, and yes, this hunter uses an AR-15 when he's not trying to win over reluctant homeowners with his crossbow. Obviously, it's a terrible idea to let idiots wander city streets with assault rifles firing at any 30-pound quadruped they think deserves to die. In fact, I'm much more worried about me, my dog, or a random cat being hurt or killed by a hunter than by a coyote, which are known to avoid humans whenever possible. But there's another reason to not let hunters cull coyotes and remove them from our cities. Biologists say it's not going to work. As I mentioned, the U.S. spent millions of dollars over a century and a half trying to exterminate coyotes, but today they inhabit three times as much land as they did before the program started. They used to be found only in the West, but now they exist coast to coast and from Mexico all the way to Canada. That happened in part because first we killed their only predator, wolves, uh, but more so it was spurred by our own death wish for them. Coyotes are remarkable in that uh, they prefer to live in packs that are hierarchical and in which only the alpha male and female will mate and produce offspring. But when they're threatened, coyotes split their packs up into solo solo coyotes and into pairs, and each pair can then mate and produce offspring. Their howls inform them of how many other coyotes are in the area, and if they don't get enough of a response to their howls, their mating kicks into high gear. They breed at younger ages, and their litter sizes double or even triple. Coyotes are a fascinating example of a species that adapts to difficult circumstances and doesn't just survive, but thrive. When the extirpation program unintentionally spurred their numbers and pushed the population across the country, uh, coyotes even started breeding with the few remaining wolf species they encountered as they spread east. So now we also have koi wolves, kai wolves, I'm not sure, running around, which is kind of fucking amazing. So not only will hunting the coyotes probably not help, it will probably make the situation much worse, especially considering that when left alone, coyotes won't overbreed. They will control their own population to lessen intraspecies uh, competition. 
And in the meanwhile, the coyotes we so desperately want exterminated aren't out there stealing our food or hunting our babies. They're doing hardcore pest control, eating our rats and our mice and even our feral cats. Yes, I love cats, and I don't want to see them killed, but cats belong in the home, where they're safe from cars and coyotes and budding psychopaths, and also where they can be prevented from decimating our songbird population. Coyotes are, in fact, amazing animals that are a healthy, beneficial part of our ecosystem, of keeping everything in check. While I don't mind that coyotes eat the occasional feral cat, I do mind that they eat the occasional family dog. Uh, And that's why instead of killing coyotes, we just need to study them more and educate our society more. We need to know when and where they're making dens because they'll be more aggressive towards humans and dogs who come near their offspring. And we need to know where and when they're active so that people can avoid allowing dogs off leash near them. Coyotes are everything that we want America to be. They're clever, beautiful, able to adapt and overcome extreme obstacles. Here's hoping that we stop idiot humans from basically making a non-problem into a huge problem.